In this problem, we're given the function y12, and what we want to do is to take the raising operator, apply to this function, and then obtain y22. So this is what we're looking for in this video. And before we begin, I need to recall the result for question 4.18. So if you haven't done this question, I suggest you do it. And in that question, it tells us that if we apply the raising operator to y12, you will get an expression that's equal to some constant, I'll call it a12, multiplied by y22. And question 4.18 tells us that the value of a12 is given by this formula. So the square root of l times l plus 1 minus m times m plus 1. And in this case, m is equal to 1 and l is equal to 2. So the value of a12 is equal to h bar multiplied by 2 times 3 minus 1 times 2. So this is just 6 minus 4, uh, 6 minus 2, so it's equal to 4. So we have h bar times the square root of 4, which is just 2 h bar. So we, what we know from this result is that if we apply the raising operator to y12, we get something like 2 h bar multiplied by y22. So this is a result that will be useful later on. And now the next step, what we want to do is to apply the raising operator directly to y12. And so applying the raising operator, we're just going to take this expression over here. So let's just copy that down. So the raising operator is equal to this expression. So e to the power of i phi, and then the partial derivative with respect to theta, i cotangent theta, the partial derivative with respect to phi, and then I'm going to copy down the expression for y12. So we have a constant multiplied by sine theta, cosine theta, e to the power of i phi. And so now let's try to evaluate this expression. First of all, let's try to pull the constants outside first. These are unaffected by the operators. And so now we have the partial derivative with respect to theta, and this only affects the sine and cosine term. So differentiating this with respect to theta, I differentiate the sine term, so it, that gives us cosine squared theta, and then I differentiate the cosine term, which becomes negative sine, so we have a negative sine squared theta, so that's, I just applied the product rule, and then this phi term is unaffected by the theta derivative, and then here we have i cotangent theta, and a derivative with respect to phi, so this term, this phi uh, derivative only affects this uh, phi term, so the sine theta and the cosine theta are unaffected, and differentiating this with respect to phi, we get i e to the power of i phi. And now let's try to simplify this a bit. So you see both of these terms have a e to the power of i phi term. Let's just pull this out and then combine it with this e term here on the outside. And then we have, let's just copy down the constants first. And then inside the bracket, we have cosine th square theta minus sine square theta. And here we have i square, so we can combine them, and that gives us a negative 1. And then here, cotangent. Cotangent is just equal to cosine theta divided by sine theta. And so you can see that the denominator uh, cancels out with this sine theta over here. So in the end, we're left with cosine square theta. So we have negative cosine square theta, which gratefully they cancel out with the other cosine square theta here we have in the front. And then we here we also have a negative sine, which cancels out with the negative sine outside over here. And so what we have in the end is the square root of 15 over 8 pi times h bar times e to the power of i phi times sine theta whole squared. So this is the expression that you get if you apply the raising operator to y12. And now going back, we also know that applying the raising operator to y12 also gives us 2 h bar multiplied by y22. So all I have to do is to divide 2 h bar over to the other side, and that will give us y22. So we do, uh, get rid of the h bar, and then we put the 1 over 2 over here. And so let's just write out the answer in a nicer way. So to conclude, our answer is that y22 is given by the expression. So we have a 1 over 2, and there's an 8 over here. So 8 is just 2 times 4. So I can pull the 4 outside of the square root, and that just becomes another 1 over 2 which combines with this other 1 over 2 over here, which becomes 1 over 4. So in the end, we have an expression 1 over 4 times the square root of 15 over 2 pi multiplied by e to the power of i phi 
sine theta whole squared. And so this is your answer. This is how we can obtain y22 from y12 and using the raising operator.